Hi, Preeti. How are you? Hi, sir. Good afternoon, sir. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you, Preeti. Uh, Preeti, uh, receive the JD. Uh, yeah. Okay. You I have received. You are okay with what role and response do you have? You are clear, or you yeah. need more clarification from my side? No, no, no. Uh, I yeah. got clear and. Uh, I'm clear with all the skills and job responsibilities and roles. And uh, you are thinking this uh, like he, you are fit for that job role? Uh, yeah. Okay. Why you are interested that uh, this role? If I will ask you, what is the I mean, like he, what motivate to join this role and this companies? Yeah, so since uh, in my current organization, so I'm uh, acting as an individual contributor where uh, I used to communicate with my clients uh, and my stakeholders directly. And whatever the development purpose uh, and testing purpose, I used to do it by myself. And uh, uh, so, uh, so I have a, uh, like uh, pretty much faith on me so that I can manage and uh, uh, get it done the work uh, by myself. Uh, okay. And uh, you are currently working in which domain? Uh, it's a logistic uh, based Logistic domain. domain. Okay. Yeah. Data management, how will define? So data management, it's the process where we uh, manage or organize the data. Uh, so basically it includes the database uh, uh, where we used to store the data. Uh, in it, uh, the data might be a structure or uh, unstructured format, but if it's a relational database, then uh, we have to store the structured data. The data should be in the row, uh, rows and column uh, format. And uh, yeah. So it's basically to manage or organize the data. Okay. Collecting uh, large amount of data and then managing the data. And a business, as per the business, need, we are providing the data in the different form. Correct? Okay. Yeah. Correct. What is the data cleansing? And what are the different steps involved in data cleansing? Uh, data cleansing, uh, it's a process where we have to uh, omit or we have to uh, delete the redundant data or uh, inaccurate data or uh, uh, some uh, data which is uh, not needed, uh, uh, like some duplicate records or null values or empty values. Uh, so, this, uh, so basically we are uh, removing those type of data in the data cleansing process. Data cleansing. What is your daily task involved in that current organization? Uh, my daily task involves uh, to communicate with uh, different clients and stakeholders and different managers to gather uh, the requirements and the data. And uh, for the data extraction or for data manipulation process, I used SQL, uh, where we uh, basically use the SQL joins or set operators, uh, uh, stored procedures, rank function and uh, different types of uh, like uh, triggers uh, so i basically i used on that and uh, for uh, data uh, representation or uh, data cleansing purpose i used excel uh, where i used the functions excel functions uh, like uh, uh, data validation uh, uh, and the pivot table, pivot charts, and the functions filters. And for the data visualization purpose, I use uh, Tableau, where I build reports and dashboards. Mm -hmm. And uh, for uh, numerical data analysis purpose, I use Python, where I use the uh, uh, library like Pandas or uh, NumPy. OK. Uh, do you have an approach in the data migration project? Uh, data migration, uh, 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 not exactly. I mean, uh, uh, like uh, data migration, like uh, from one database to uh, correct, another correct. database. Correct. Yeah. 
sometimes the stakeholders or the clients uh, they uh, they provide their credential to access their database so that time we use to their credential whatever they have shared uh, we uh, go through their database their tables and we used to transform their data i mean those data to our uh, environment i mean our database then we used to work on those i mean we used to start data cleansing data transformation data loading all the tasks uh, like that if i'm not wrong you know. okay uh when you manage a lot of data and you are figure out this null value some missing value okay or when you see that a data is a raw data not from proper data what is what is your approach what action you take to improve the enhancing the data uh for uh, uh, enhancement of the data i mean uh, in the excel uh, we used to check i mean all the empties or null values or uh, uh, whatever the data's uh, value we feel those are not accurate like um, for the mobile number field if someone is giving 12 digit or 13 digit number so that is uh, so there we put the validation so that the uh, i mean uh, data can't i mean invalid data can't be get entered into that shit so that type of uh, uh, task uh, we used to do uh, in the data excel uh, okay. while what is data profiling how how will define this uh, data profiling um, okay as you mentioned that uh, you master. collecting uh, different sources once master data set then you try to figure out what are the null value missing value so what is this approach what do you call uh this so this basically we call this data cleansing or data scrubbing uh before a cleansing uh, taking uh, action triggering we are before, making an analysis that is called a figure out where you need to improve okay all right no no issue so that is called data profile profile okay what is the flat file uh the flat file uh, it may be the excel sheet or uh, a word document kind of pdf uh, json xml uh, okay are the null value are same as empty or uh, null value will be different and empty no. uh null and empty both are different because empty means there is no uh, i mean no value is present in that uh, uh, variable or in the cell or something but uh, null is something that we uh, this is something like unknown value we don't know what it contains i mean it's not like it's a empty or something we, it's a unknown value uh, we don't know the value that is called the null I want to SQL again. Uh, do you have a pen paper, Kriti? Yeah. yeah. Can you write a syntax, uh, write a query to have find the second highest salary, or what will be approach is telling is fine. How to find this for second highest salary? Uh, second highest salary. Uh, so there i can use uh, sub query so okay. in the inner query i can uh, get the top to uh, salary uh, from that uh, employee table order by descending so that i can get the top to highest salary uh, from the inner query then in the outer query i can uh, write like uh, uh, select uh, top one salary from whatever the result come, come from the inner query order by ascending so that i'll get the second highest okay how to again uh, uh, write a syntax uh, like he, how to uh, find a duplicate record from a table what will be a syntax for that uh, uh syntax i mean to get the uh, to find the duplicate uh, record uh, we can use the row number uh, function windows function we can use uh, Mm. Syntax. You can tell approach is fine if you are telling you. Uh, 
उटपुट Employee name and contact number. In the table, contain employee name, employee mobile number, employee landline, and office. Three column is there. But I want to display. And from sometimes employee mobile number also null. Some cases of employee landline number null, office number null. But anyway, the contact number one, contact number, and employee name should be displayed in output. Which function in SQL you can use and resolve this issue? Uh, I mean, uh, sir, you are asking to display two uh, columns. One is the name, and one will contact be contact number. Uh, contact number, and that contact or uh, whatever that number that should not be null. No, no. In that uh, table, master table contain mobile number, landline number, mm -hmm. office number. Few employee has a mobile number, landline, and office number null. Few employee yeah. they don't have a mobile number, but land sometimes the office also null. But at least one contact should be displayed in the final column. Do you know collation function? Any idea? Collation. Uh yeah. Okay. Uh no. I know, but uh, currently I'm not able to. Okay. What is CTE in SQL? CTE. Uh, CTE. It stands for the Common Table Expression, where uh, we can uh, store it. I mean, temporarily we can store a result, and the duration of that result is during the execution of that uh, query, and there we can uh, uh, use like insert, update, or uh, delete uh, query inside the Common Table. the sent uh, syntax will be like cte then the cte name then as inside that uh, we can write our uh, dml uh, query like insert update or delete whatever the result we want to store then after that we can write select star from uh, select whatever the specific column we want to display that name from that uh, cte uh, name So okay. like that, we can uh, retrieve uh, the result. What is the schema? And what are the different schema available in RDBMS? Uh, schema is something like uh, the logical uh, structure of the database, and uh, there are uh, several type of uh, schemas are there, like uh, um, star schema, or uh, hybrid, and. Okay, star schema, uh, snowflake schema, and a hybrid schema. Okay, all right. What is the maximum table you can join in SQL? What is the maximum number of tables? Tables. Uh, okay. Uh, I think. There is no oh, okay, no problem. Ah, uh, which library you are using for all your mathematical ah uh, data operation in Python? Ah, uh, it's a Matplot library. Matplot. For all the mathematical operation, I'm asking. Ah, uh, NumPy. Okay. All right. I think Priti, I'm good. And uh, yeah, Priti. Ah. Uh, I just going through and before like he, I I need to understand. So you are into our your hometown, okay? Uh, and uh, this requirement in Bangalore immediately you are looking somebody in join in, you know, in uh, office. So how will manage these things? Uh, 